Thanks for calling the help desk. This is Zach. How can Three, I help you? Two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. Do you guys know what the right questions are to ask when you're on the help desk? We are going to go over those in today's Help Desk Episode 2. I want to go over what the top three questions are when you are on Help Desk that you should be asking. And I want to start this out by saying you guys aren't going to know everything. You're not expected to know all the answers, and that is quite all right. But you should know the questions to ask because most importantly you might have to transfer some of your calls over to you know tier one tier two tier three and so on so asking the right questions getting as much information as you can from the users is really really important and if you are asking the right questions you may be even able to fix the issue so what questions are they All right, so I understand you're having an issue. What changed recently that would cause you to have that issue? Any different changes on your computer? Any different changes within the application? Was there an update that you know that was run recently? Anything that you know that has changed recently that you can think of that can help me address this issue further would greatly help. There's one question that kind of was a couple, but it was really one. What changed? What would have changed with this person's computer or application that they're running that would cause an error, that would cause it to stop working, that's causing the issue in general? What changed? Get as much information about what may have changed with that issue and you may be able to fix that issue or you're getting all that information to advance that troubleshooting um, to uh, onto the next tier and your coworkers will greatly appreciate you for that because then they don't have to go and do those steps for you. Number two, what is it that you are trying to accomplish with this? What is your end goal here? What's your end task? What, what is it that you really want your workflow to look like right here? That's kind of a, 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 an, a question that you can ask them because you want to find out you know, what their workflow is. Why is it that they want to make that change uh, with their application, with their software, with their Word document, with whatever workflow it is that they're doing, why do they want to make that change? So ask them and get as much detail as you can. You may have to ask more questions. Well, why can't you do it this way? Or what if you did it this way? Or you know, different, different questions like that and get all that information that you can. You, your primary job as help desk is to get as much information as you can from these users. And these are the best questions to ask. So to top it off with the last question, this is my favorite one because you will never get a solid answer. 90% of the time, you probably won't get a solid answer. A uh, user calls you with a troublesome issue. They are having an error. Something's always happening, right? When is this issue happening? When are you receiving this error? At what times? Can you give me an exact time when this is happening? Can you tell me uh, exactly when in your workflow that this is happening? That question right there will be a hard one because they're gonna tell you all the time. It's happening all the time. I can't do my work because it's happening all the time. Nine times out of 10, it's not happening all the time but you need to kind of fight back with them a little bit and you're going to have to reword the way that you ask that, you know, at what point is this happening? You know, they're going to say all the time. It's happening all the time. Every time I open the application, every time I do this in the application, it's just happening all the time, right? Well, maybe, maybe not. Mostly it's not happening all the time, but they love to say it's happening all the time. It's usually happening because of something that they're doing, something specific that they're doing. So you're gonna say, well, can you tell me, you know, the steps that you are taking 
when this issue is happening, you know, was it, or was it happening at a specific time? If you were having it uh, three days in a row, was it happening at a, sp a specific time? Were you doing a specific function when this happened? Those are the type of questions that you guys should be asking. Uh, those are the top three that I can really think of that I think might be the best because if you can ask those to the users and you can write all those questions down and maybe you can't troubleshoot it yourself and fix the issues yourself, but if you can get all the information and pass that along to the next person, your coworkers will greatly appreciate you. So I have more questions like that that you guys should know being in Help Desk and we'll do another video like that. It won't be at the next video, but we will wait and save that one down the road. But that's today's Help Desk and this is episode two. So hope you guys appreciate that one and maybe we'll do more like that. If you guys like these help desk videos, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you guys haven't subscribed or whatnot, hit the subscribe button. I'm here to help you guys get in IT, ask, answer your IT questions, or uh, just give you tips and tricks about being in IT in a business environment because it's completely different than any other environment. So hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I love to hear you guys and what you guys have to say. So as always, well, how do I end this video? Wait, are you sure? I don't know about that. All right, fine. Take it easy.